Hi, it's Levi, and one of the games I'm pretty stoked about this year is this character action game from ex Ninja Gaiden developers at 110 Industries and Soleil Game Studios. Dubbed a hybrid slasher shooter, Wanted Dead is truly a medley of various genre tropes. Think The Division meets Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, with cover based shooting a la Gears of War, mini games similar to the Yakuza series fast-paced melee action like Devil May Cry, and a No More Heroes-esque font because, I don't know, why not? Get it all in there. I mean, there's so much happening in this game, from immortality-style FMV bits to cyberpunk edge runners esque anime sequences that it makes my head spin, in the good way, of course. There's even a cat! Come on! But what really grabbed my attention, felines aside, was the juxtaposition between close and ranged combat, something Wanted Dead seeks to establish as its own niche subgenre. Players are encouraged to balance melee and range tactics while performing over 50 executions in a beautifully bolitic bloodbath, much like its inspiration, Ninja Gaiden. I do have some reservations though. In a gameplay deep dive video the devs put out recently, Partner AI seemed a little unreliable, and enemy AI, as well as enemy variety, left a lot to be desired. Also, could we maybe get a new death scream or something? And uh, that voice acting, oof. Hey, we are with the police. But we saw just one stage out of five that will take roughly 12 hours to complete, a game length I'd love to see more of in 2023. The developers aim to create a love letter to the sixth generation of video game consoles, and from what we've seen so far, they may have succeeded. There's real confidence behind what Wanted Dead is trying to do. They aren't afraid of being cringe, and so they are free. So what do y'all think of Wanted Dead? Are you wanting to chop some heads off now? Let us know in the comments below. Video games forever, Kotaku.com.